Sustainability is part of the DNA of our organization. Everything that we do now is going to have an impact on our future. We were really set out to improve the overall health of the vineyard. The lead is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. That's the acronym. Um, and the foundation is, um, I think, is being respectful, being green, treating Mother Nature and land in a respectful way. And it's a combination of um, recycled materials and uh, energy efficiency. And I looked around for someone to inspire me here locally in, in the Napa Valley, but there was no one to get an idea from. And sometimes you need to be the first. And that's the kind of organization we are. Um, we may fail, but at least we'll try. The general contract who we hired to build Cade, Mark Grassi, uh, recommended a young architect who grew up in Guadalajara, Mexico. He and I spent a day together. At the end of that day, I knew Carlos was the right architect uh, for this assignment. A lead certification is important to him on the value side, but he had not designed a winery before. And again, getting back to risk taking and innovation, our leap of faith went with Carlos and he delivered. Where I'm coming from in Guadalajara, uh, the buildings that we design, you know, they don't have AC, they don't have heating because of the weather, you know. So you you learn to design in a really passive way, in a really natural way. Uh, so the natural ventilation, natural uh, lighting, and the way you treat the site, that was just kind of a, don't know how I learned to design. You see throughout the property, these verticals, um, with elements that we have it to it. And the inspiration was on um, all the trees around here. You know, they're really vertical, really tall ones. So it was one way for us to replace the building and we took some of these trees and we just placed it around the building. So one thing to clarify here, we only took two trees when we did the whole project. When it comes to the soil, you know, soils are alive. Um, we want to keep it natural and healthy and not kill off the good stuff, and we want to keep it going um, so that we can continue to grow these grape vines for 30, 40, 50 years. So we became certified organic over a three year period of time. We had to one show that we were only use, using certified organic materials on our vineyard, things from the earth, um, things that you can find in nature. So in the cellar, the way we try to be sustainable and green is by reducing the amount of water we're using. Barrel hydration and barrel maintenance is kind of a key thing. When you put wine into a barrel, you don't want the barrel to leak. So what we do is we hydrate the barrel before filling it. In the old days, we would fill the entire barrel with 60 gallons of warm water. And then what a waste, it would just be dumped down the drain. Now, um, we flip the barrels on their heads. We put two gallons of water on the top of the barrel and about two gallons of water inside the barrel let it hang out for 20 to 30 minutes, flip it over, do the same thing on the other side, and the barrel is hydrated. So we're saving a lot of water in that regards. We're also part of the Napa Green Project and part of um, fish-friendly farming. We have to continue to go down that path of what else can we do, what else can we impact so that um, we're looked at as leaders in the industry. Being Gold LEED certified, having certified organic vineyards um, means that we're committed and we're going to keep doing this and keep trying to raise the bar. Part of our commitment when you come to visit us is that we'll talk about this, that we'll inspire you. It might be a small thing. As an example, here at the winery, uh, the insulation in the walls are recycled blue jean scraps. A company buys the leftover scraps from jean manufacturers, shreds them, and sprays them into the wall. Instead of going to a landfill, we've reused them. 
Um, the concrete is uh, a third fly ash, ash from a coal-fired power plant that's been recycled into concrete. Uh, we're solar powered, we're self-sufficient with our solar, our own power needs. And the wood is from farm-raised trees. I can go on and on and on about this, but if your visit here um, inspires you to use recycled concrete for your driveway, I think that's a big win. So um, that drove us to explore this LEED certification, to learn about it, to pioneer it, and to embrace it in all of our projects Cade Forward. We are hopefully setting the example of the way we believe um, we should grow grapes and build wineries in, in the Napa Valley.